For years, it was referred to as the change. People didn't even want to say the word menopause, but over time, we've gotten better at talking about it and learning about ways to handle it and take charge of our health. September is Menopause Awareness Month, a good time to welcome our guests, sexologist Dr. Shannon Chavez and OBGYN and women's health expert Dr. Denica Moore. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so what should we know about menopause that maybe most of us don't realize? I think most people really need to know the symptoms of menopause and when to expect this. So the average age is 51, which means lots of women can go in through menopause earlier or later, but they can start having symptoms long before menopause. The symptoms are the world famous hot flashes mm -hmm. and mood swings, but also lesser well-known things such as sleep disturbances, night sweats, forgetfulness, and the one people talk about the least, which is vaginal dryness, which can lead to painful sex after menopause. But then sexual health, um, I guess at any age, why is that important? Sexual health really impacts our overall health and well-being, and painful sex due to menopause is a huge barrier in relationships. We know that physical intimacy is really important for long-term relationships, so we want to help women overcome these barriers and really start talking about painful sex due to menopause to get the treatment they need and to really start this movement to overcome some of the myths that are out there about their attitudes and beliefs regarding menopause. What are the options, though? How can you change it? Well, the first thing we want women to do is go to womentakecharge.com where they can just click on the pledge. And we're calling the pledge a commitment to talk to your sisters, your girlfriends. We talk about everything. Now it's time for us to talk about this. Of course, the most important person to talk to is your partner and especially your doctor. Because if you're having any uncomfortable symptoms at all, but of course painful sex due to menopause, you do have treatment options available. Um, and you, the first person you need to talk to about that is your physician. And for you, Dr. Chavez, what would you add to that? I would add that really women need to understand that menopause is, uh, symptoms regarding menopause are temporary and that mm -hmm. once they get the treatment that they need, women are really having the best sex of their lives after <laughs> menopause. It's the new sexual prime. Uh, this so really <laughs> there's a lot of potential for really yeah. taking charge and this movement is about having women reclaim sexuality after menopause and feeling more confident aware in the freedom that comes from mm -hmm. sexuality after menopause. So mm -hmm. we want to give women that permission and to really encourage women to take the pledge and take charge. Well, it sounds like such a great idea, but you know, some people are going to be shy about this, and I'm sure you see that as you're visiting with your patients. So any recommendations for getting the conversation started so you can really get to a point where you're comfortable about it and then maybe getting a hold of a treatment? Well, what I recommend to women is we bring a list to the grocery store Bring a list of your symptoms to the doctor, and mm -hmm. then if you're uncomfortable, you could just look down on your list and mm -hmm. say, well, I have this question, <laughs> right. this question, this question, because eye contact can sometimes be uncomfortable. Yeah. It also helps to remember that you're not going to come up with something that your doctor hasn't heard before. There's 5,000 women a day going through menopause in the United States and Canada, and we're sharing this experience. Um, as Dr. Chavez said, many of the menopausal symptoms are temporary. However, vulvar vaginal atrophy, which is what causes vaginal dryness and painful sex due to menopause, will persist and will affect over 50% of women in menopause. Well, some good information today. We'll leave it there. Dr. Chavez and Dr. Moore, thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you, Mary. Thank you. Mike?